Good afternoon Art Potters and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Art Pot. You join me today on the beaches of Leffrenkoek which is in the Dunkirk area of France where we've come to explore this beauty here which is an old World War II defence bunker part of the West Wall. Now before I go any further I'd just like to give a shout out to RKS Exploration who explored that back in 2009. Uh, Ian Stead and the boys went in there and had a little mooch around well, we're going to follow in your footsteps Ian and we're going to have a look in there and uh, see what's changed from your video. We're going to go up now and have a look at this one because this is the one that's in the best condition really out of them all. Bit of a climb but we'll get up there. Well this is where they would have looked out from. Looking straight out there across the channel for any invaders. This is the view looking out. You know, if you was manning these bunkers, this is all you'd see. Windswept, cold, waiting for an army that wouldn't come from this direction. Probably fearing it actually as well. You now they must have known that there was a build-up just over at water though, that sooner or later was going to come and have a go at them, and they'd be in front line. Or maybe they trusted these bunkers that they'd protect them. In the end they were just bypassed so the question's moot. Here we are I'm on top of it. Top of the world Ma. What a view from up here. That's the water tower back in there. Zudkut I think. Steel plate though. I should imagine there was some ladders leading up to the top here. That's back across to where that mirrored bunker is. down below. They're amazing these, I could wander around these all day. I really could. And all those ruins that you see there are actually older than this bunker. Because those are 19th century. And what the Germans did, they built this on top. There we go, that gives you another view of inside. According to Mrs H we can actually get in this and have a look so I think we should do that inside a Nazi bunker eh? Well we're inside. Uh, this here, this room here, there was actually been a machine gun in there at one time and the idea being if anybody tried breaking in through there they would have got it full throttle. I don't know if we could, we'll be able to get round to that. I do apologise Ian, I actually pulled you up on not going into that room, it appears you can't get into it, so... What is that here? You've got to watch your foot in it, it's really bad. It's really bad. And we're through to here. And then it opens out into two side rooms. Looking at it, look at the state of that roof. Terrible. There's a room in here. Just heading into this room here. It's a dead end, this one. There's some like park work up there. Don't know what that would have been for ventilation, communication, or what. Led back now, because there's another room on the other side. Whether it's just a mirror of this or not, I don't know. We're now in the machine gun room, so yeah, you can get in it. You know, this is where it would have been housed. Now, when we was around here last time and I peered through that opening from this side, the actual mountain was still in here for the gun, but it's gone now. The only thing that there's still here is that for the window. And I should imagine they could put something over that. This seems to be the other side of that part that runs through. Look at that. Just all crumbling. And we'll have a look in the little uh, observation part.
Now this is the lower level from where I've been stood. I've actually been on top of this one. You know, there's another level above, which I'll we'll show you in a bit. Now, though they'd have been with the binoculars, looking for Englanders, for Americans, Yankees, gangsters as they used to call them. of those doors what would have been on there at one time. You know. And then that leads up to the the upper floor, which I don't think you can get to. No doubt a lot of scrambling or a ladder. So it looks like somebody's tried though. I'll just go in and just see how high it is. But. Yeah, this is like a corridor leading up. You know, and you'd get in there and that's that's the back of the bunker. And that's the next level up. That's so without a ladder. You've no chance. Well, we're gonna head back out, make our way back out now, through the doom and gloom. It looks like somebody's remembered what a unit this used to belong to. Right, we'll head back down now and, uh, and get out of it. It's quite windy through here. open these up and actually let people come round them. At the minute they're a bit too dangerous. Well yeah we shouldn't be in them but but it's true and all said and done. Once again that room as we was in. No, well uh, Lucy's already gone out. that was awesome I really enjoyed that the girls certainly enjoyed it as well Mrs H even she had a, an enjoyment of going in there and having a little nosy so there we go that's how the bunker looks in 2017 I think they should open them up me and let people look around them proper but I suppose there's an health and safety issue and all that carry on although they put mirrors on some of them so who knows anyway we're going to get off now we're going to have a barbecue not on the beach we're going to we're in a nice little park that we found when we first came here. So, until the next time, bye bye for now.